Homeported in Norfolk, Virginia, the Enterprise is the only ship of its class and the eighth ship in the U.S. Navy with its name. When the Enterprise was being built, that's when I first came to the shipyard. And my first project was the Enterprise. <laughs> And ever since then, I have been on, I've been working on the Enterprise. The nickname Big E was handed down from the famous Enterprise which sailed overseas during World War II. Yeah, it's the number one ship in the Navy, there's no doubt about it. So it's a magic name. Enterprise is the standard for excellence in the Navy. When built, Enterprise was the longest vessel in the world at 1,100 feet and the only carrier to be built with more than two nuclear reactors. It was built with eight. I was up on the bridge, and the supply officer came with his little book of custody chips, like you sign for a typewriter. And I signed eight times, one time for each nuclear reactor. So that's when it hit home. I owned eight nuclear reactors. These reactors allowed Enterprise and other nuclear ships to travel throughout the world without refueling. Well, being the first nuclear powered, uh, it, it just meant everything. I knew it was a whole new world. Soon after its commissioning, Enterprise deployed on its first mission, February 20th, 1962. It served as a tracking and measuring station for the United States' first orbital space flight named Friendship 7. Also in 1962, Enterprise participated in the naval and air blockade of Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis. All ships of any kind bound to Cuba, from whatever nation or port, where they're found to contain cargoes of offensive weapons, be turned back. In 1964, Enterprise joined USS Long Beach and USS Bainbridge, creating the world's first nuclear-powered task force, and made historic voyage around the world. More than 30,000 miles in 65 days without a single replenishment. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Enterprise was in the middle of uh, most of the Vietnam War. We were in the Gulf of Tonkin in the Indian Ocean. We were there for the bombing of Hanoi by the B-52s when the ceasefire took place. We were the only nuclear-powered carrier at that time, and the only one in Vietnam. As the Vietnam conflict started to wind down, Enterprise participated in several firsts. In September 1974, the Big E became the first carrier to deploy the F-14 Tomcat fighter plane. The F-14 would be the mainstay of U.S. naval carrier-based aviation until 2006. In April 1986, Enterprise became the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to transit the Suez Canal. Over the following 25 years, Enterprise would perform in Operation Classic Resolve, Operation Desert Fox, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom. She was young and lively when I was on board. Frisky. <laughs> she was 10. We thought that was fairly old, I mean, or a medium age for a carrier. Little did we envision she'd be around 40 more years. You have to understand, this ship was really designed to last about 25 or 30 years, uh, with really no intention of keeping it more than about 20. With one more deployment on the horizon for Enterprise scheduled in early 2012, it will be deactivated soon after returning to its home port at the venerable age of 51. Well, the reason the ship was able to last that long uh, was, was the work and, the, you know, the faithful service of the sailors that kept the ship running that long. And so I'm as proud of that as anything. Well, I always like to finish up my first project. My first project was the Enterprise. So it would be a thrill for me, you know, to work it all the way through. The legacy is long and proud. Uh, we would hope uh, that after our inactivation and decommissioning, uh, that one of the future aircraft carriers would also bear the name USS Enterprise. She's still number one. She always will be, and the name is magic. And I hope we have another Enterprise carrier in the years to come. I don't know whether we will because they name carriers after people now, but uh, they might, because she is special. <laughs>